this video is going to be how to customize your own UI for Katana and save a layout file, as well as pointing out some of the uh, most commonly used windows and how to get around them with the mouse and whatnot. Uh, very easy video. If you already passed that step in Katana, feel free to skip on to the next video. So my layout here, I like to have the no graph uh, right in the middle, right in the center. We do a lot of work in the no graph getting around uh, Katana. So all of the tabs in Katana can be maximized by hovering over them and pressing spacebar. So doing that allows you to have more tabs open maybe and smaller and maximize when needed. Uh, other people will have multiple layouts. You'll see in the layouts pane here, I've got MB1 screen and MB2 screen, depending if I've got a dual monitor at the studio I'm at. Um, but it depends on uh, how you like it set up. So the most common window is going to be the node graph, the viewer. The viewer here is uh, our 3D viewport that we move around just like Myers. So we have alt, left, middle, and right. Same hotkeys, same mouse buttons rather, you'll be used to in plenty of software. Uh, we have the monitor obviously here. There's rendering away with the, this is a live render going as part of my scene. And uh, we definitely want that visible if we're doing rendering. The param parameters pane. Uh, up here, this is when we're editing any given node. Press E to edit a node, it will show the parameters to edit. So it's an obvious one we need, visible. And the scene graph is the currently uh, evaluated uh, graph of the scene where we can see all the items that are in the scene. So how to arrange uh, this scene? You, you do have a few starting layouts that you can choose from and modify. So you can go ahead and pick any one of those. In the tabs pane, you'll see all the different uh, tabs that we can add to panels in Katana. And a lot of these will be familiar if you've ever done 3D before. UV viewer, you get an undo history. Uh, have a look through those yourself. So how we dock these panes, we can press and hold on a tab and that allows us to move them around and dock or split them. So if I want to dock with this tab up here to send my dope sheet up here, I can just let go and it will place it here. I can move it back, press and hold, move it back and uh, place it in here. But you'll see the UI will change depending on where you drop the UI. So if I got the curve editor for example and say I wanted the curve editor on another window at the bottom here making six different panels. I can grab it, pull it down and hover not over this center area but over this bottom part here and this will split the pane and give us different different panels. So the other way we can uh, edit our workspaces is uh, especially if you're using multiple monitors this is a good one you can right click and go detach tab and this will give it a completely separate window and this will even show up when we alt tab you'll see uh, when we are oh, in windows anywho when I alt tab I can uh, select my monitor completely separately and I can dock that back in if I wish so Shuffle those around, have a look. If you're depending on what t particular task that you're learning uh, Katana for, like if you're a developer, uh, obviously you're gonna have some very different type of layouts. You might have your Python uh, tab front and center, uh, you know, base it around what you're doing in Katana. And some of the tabs you're not gonna need at all. Um, I don't do a great, a great deal of animation in Katana, so I can just close those tabs and uh, you know pull them out when I do need them. So once you've got a layout that you're happy with, come to the layouts pane and go save current layout. Uh, you can overwrite an existing one by pulling the pull down here and selecting one. And if you've got any floating panes like I demonstrated earlier, you need to tick this, otherwise it will not save it. The last part I wanted to show was nav just navigating around the node graph because we're gonna be doing a lot of that. We can middle mouse to pan around we can uh, scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, left mouse is for making selections and right click is for access, one of the ways to access nodes. So it's middle mouse. Uh, you can also alt middle mouse to zoom if you don't like the scroll wheel or if you don't have one. 
Uh, and there's also uh, lots of other ways to get around nodes that I'll, I'll be showing, like the jump panel if you press J uh, and things like that. Uh, but we'll be doing a lot of those as we go through the other videos. So that's an overview of the UI in Katana. Uh, the task I get you to do now is, is to finalize your own layout. Uh, not being too fussy because you can save and overwrite that as many times as you like as you learn more about Katana and, and become more familiar with it. Okay, so thank you and I'll see you in the next video.